Good afternoon and welcome to another digital planner video. This time I'm going to be planning my week. We are going to be using my Rose Gold planner for the first week of January. We are going to be planning January 2nd through January 8th. I've already taken a screenshot of this page and I've already picked out my sticker kit. So let's open Keynote and get started. Okay, first off, I have I'm going to show you how I load in stickers that I have saved in, like, these are my Google Drive. So I go, this is just a blank presentation page. I go plus, down here at the bottom of the picture tab, insert from. This opens, it'll say locations up here. Tap on locations, and like I said, this one is in my Google Drive. And since I do have more than one Google Drive account, select it. And it is page three that I need, because I'm doing a New Year's spread this time. And I also need to add another blank page. Follow the same steps, insert from, location, Google Drive. This time, I'm going to my Etsy stickers. Because it is the start of the new year, and one of the things I am wanting to work on this new year is my health. So I have these that I want to use. And actually, that isn't the ones I want. So, y'all, bear with me for a moment. They were in my Dropbox. I thought it was two pages. Okay, well, you're going to get to go with me on adventures. <laughs> I'm going to go to Etsy, which is where I bought these stickers. I am wanting something to, and I am doing this in Safari because. I need to be able to download the PDF. So, um, this is how I get that. If you go through the website, you cannot download them. So here I want to download this file. I want to download the calories one. I'm going to select more and copy to my drive. Okay. Now, I showed you how to get a sticker set from Etsy. I'm going to go back to Keynote. Try this again. Plus, insert from. Location, Google Drive, and it should just be right there it is in this folder. And there's the one I want. Okay, we're just going to leave that there for right now. Now, let's get started with the actual planning. I'm going to use the plus. I've already taken a screenshot of my planner page, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to use the plus shape square box, and we're going to line up my box with my corners to make my mask. I'm going to copy the shape first. And then touch the shape and the planner page. Mask with shape. Done. That gives me the page that I want. I'm going to insert another blank page. 
And let's look at these four boxes. Mm-hmm. Trying to decide which one I really like. We're going to go to the blank page, paste my shape, go back to this. See this kind of flower, or it looks like confetti. So we're going to copy. Paste, double tap, and crop it down to get this image. Now, I know some of y'all are probably wondering what I'm doing because normally at this point is where I add in my background. What I have decided, instead of going to Google and finding a background, this is going to be my background for my planner page. So I want to put one finger and rot- rotate it with another. And now I'm going to cut this, move it to this page, and paste it. And then I need it to be as big as my mask, if not just a touch bigger. Now I'm going to use the arrange and send it back so I have the mask on front or the shape I'm using as my mask. So go away keyboard. Okay. Now that I have that, I'm going to touch the shape and touch that full box. Mask with shape. I'm done. I'm going to copy, go to my planner page, paste, and it should fit right on top. I'm going to go to the paintbrush. I'm going to go to style, go down here to opacity, and lighten it up. This one I think I'm going to do about 45 looks good, right in there. I think that looks pretty good. So we're going to press and hold in the white space, select all, group, select the paintbrush, and lock them down. That is the start. So now they have included date covers. So let's start with those. We're going to copy, paste over here, double tap. We're going to start with Monday. For those of you that missed my video last week, I know most people did their New Year's spreads then. I, however, did not. Um, the 30th is my son's birthday. And so he got to pick my planner spread. So I did a Mario theme. So now... We're going to copy this, go to our page, paste it. Now, this is the first time I've done a vertical print for a while. I've been doing horizontal, but that's okay. The steps are the same. No matter what layout you're using, I want to line that up. So, there's Monday. Now I want to copy and paste. You want to make Monday just a touch bigger. That way when we copy and paste, it lines up right. There we go. Now I want to double tap and make it so it's Tuesday in that box. And then we'll go through and add dates. One of the reasons I'm doing the date covers first is because I 
know I had some appointments and things this week, and I figured if I went ahead and did the date covers with dates, then I'm going to get less confused while planning the rest of this. So, I'm really liking this. I think the sequins and the pinks and the gold just look gorgeous. So this is Thursday. I hope everyone has had a wonderful New Year. I didn't do much. I spent it with my family. We spent it at home. I think um, my mother lives with us now. So it was me, my other, and husband as far as adults. And we each had one drink. My mom had bought me a jar of cherries soaked in moonshine. So we each had a Coke with a couple cherries in it. That was our New Year's drink. Um, my children were home with me, which they are most holidays. We don't go out a whole lot. So they were here. And we just hung out, did some crafts, watched a movie, and just spent time together. It was a good New Year's for us. Okay, now that we have that done, I want to add in the dates. So let's go here where we're working on this. Double tap. Actually, we're going to make it smaller first. And then double tap. And here's some numbers. So let's get it down to the number we need, which we're starting with two. I'm going to make this, I know that looks pixelated and really big. I'm going to use the paintbrush and go to Instant Alpha. And take away the background. That looks horrible. So I'm going to reset. Make a slightly smaller. Okay. Let's make the number smaller. Sometimes if you don't have as much pixelization, it does better. So now let's try it and see. If I get a cleaner result, that looks pretty good. So we're going to copy that. I don't know where I want to put the date. Let's get it on my planner page. That works. And then we're going to paste. I know this is taking a little bit setup wise, I'm sorry. But this is probably going to be one of my longer videos. I have a lot I want to try to do. I've been thinking about this spread because I haven't done a vertical plan with me in quite a while. I wanted to have some fun with it. So, I hope y'all don't mind, and hopefully y'all enjoy getting to watch me try a few things. I feel that this past several months, um, I've been doing fully digital planning since the first part of October. Um... I feel like I've kind of found my way now. I know what I like. I know what I like to do. So now I feel more adventurous. I can try things, you know, um, do things a little different, experiment. Sometimes I find new ways to do things. Like 
Keynote, when I first started using Keynote, I knew nothing about it. I just one day was like, hey, I've heard Keynote's pretty good. Let's go see what I can do. So I started messing around in Keynote. And now it is my favorite, favorite way to create my weekly spread. I will go through here and get the bones of my week laid out. And then I use good notes to kind of maintain it throughout the week. Okay, so now we have all of our dates. We know what days what and where we're heading here. Let's look at our headers. We have to do in three different colors. I'm seeing a problem. I don't see any ombre checklist. People kill me when they do that. But I really liked the kit. So we're going to have well let's let's do the bottom washi first. Um I do want to use this Happy New Year washi that she's included. So let's Copy this so I have my original image. But, yeah, I knew nothing, nothing of Keynote. And then I decided that I wanted to try it. Um, Tam uses Keynote a lot, and she absolutely loves it. But I, I'm, I had an iPad for quite a while. But I have not had a Mac. Now, I recently got a MacBook. So some of this is new to me. So I, I didn't know what I was doing. And I started using it to plan, and I really like how it works. The tool to line up my stickers has made it so much easier. And the being able to make the transparency on any sticker I need to. Not all of my stickers need that, but some of them do. So being able to add that right here as needed has been just awesome. And it just it, it's allowed me to do a few different things that I probably wouldn't have got to do otherwise. So here we're going to have to make this sticker just as big and then adjust the size over here. And because I want them to be symmetrical. See how much easier? I absolutely love GoodNotes. Do not get me wrong. And I continue to use GoodNotes. But for my weekly planning, laying out what I want to do, I find that using Keynote is just so much simpler. So here we do. We're going to do the to-do header because I like my to-do boxes at the top. Let's make this one bigger so I can adjust my crop marks. Okay. And I'm trying to decide. I think I'm going to kind of color block these because I want like all of my to-do headers pink and then all of my today headers one of the other colors. I think that's how we're going to do it. So now I'm just going to paste my to-do headers. And I do have some of the align tools on in Keynote, which I find is very helpful, helping me line things up. Once you get used to them. At first, I struggled a little bit with them, 
But now that I've learned kind of how to make them work for me, I've found that the Align Center and what is it? The Align Center and Edge. Both of those, having those two on, really do help me line up my stickers so I get a clean looking finish. And it also takes out some of that frustration if you are picky about your sticker placement. It just makes it so much easier to line things up. So now let's go back to, I think it was this one. She had Yep, there would be oh wait. Yeah. We're going to use this and then I want to do I am going to do all three of these colors. I'm not gonna do the gray, but we're going to start with the pink. And this, I'm just going to do check banners for the week, which as most of you all know, isn't my typical. Actually, we're going to make them, yeah. Okay, but because we're doing that, we also need to do the alpha on this page. because the little triangle part. So, actually, before, I'm going to rotate it on this page and then copy it. So, we're going to do three colors. So, we're going to start with the first one. I want to make that smaller. It looks about right. And we're going to copy it. It will also be on Thursday because I'm just going to rotate through. So, and it's also going to be on Sunday. So there's that. Now I wonder, we're going to try it here. We're going to take that one and do the next color. Zoom in a bit so I can use my tool to align. See, now that I zoomed in, I have that one too high. Let's check the placement. I don't know what happened. Let's open Keynote back up and see how much of it was saved. That is one thing I like about Keynote is it does stay fairly frequently. Um, I know sometimes you'll get a sticker kit that for some reason just does not agree with Keynote. I had one, I fought and fought with it to try to use it in a plan with me, and I just couldn't. I, could, I couldn't do it. It would not let me. It kept making keynote close like that. Now, hopefully that isn't the case with this sticker kit, because that would kind of make me sad to have gotten this far and then have to do so, uh, go find a different one. But... If you have one that is closing repeatedly, it might be the kit. Um, like I said, I've had one other do that to me, but it closed constantly. Like I could place a sticker, it would close. Place a sticker, it would close. Place a sticker, it would close. It, it was awful. Um, I actually didn't even get that far before I was like, forget this. I don't know what's wrong with my keynote. But then um, 
I was talking to a friend that had bought the same sticker kit, and I'm not in any way saying this is the sticker maker's fault. Just something about it did not agree with Keynote. So, um, if you have a kit that's given you a lot of problems, you might try a different kit or try doing it a screenshot. Because with that particular kit, I then went and did it as a screenshot, and it worked beautifully. <clears throat> so, um, my husband, who knows more about computers than I do, suggested it could have something to do with the resolution that the stickers creators did it at. That is not what I wanted to do. Let's undo that. Copy this first. Paste it. But that is the biggest problem I've had with Keynote, was that one kit not working. The rest of it has been purely getting to know it, knowing what does what and making it work that way. Okay, there's that one. Almost got all of these in place. I feel like this is going to be a really long video, guys. I'm sorry. For one, I'm a little scatterbrained. Okay, so now we've got all of our checklists in place. I'm going to do a today. And remember, I said I wanted to use just one color. I think mm -hmm. we're going to do the today in cold. And now we're just going to copy it and paste it across. I don't know that I'm going to actually do full boxes this week. I honestly don't think I am. But I do have some appointments that need to go in. And that's what I'll put under the Today section. I'll reuse the appointment labels and write those in. And um, so... Let's go and look at the appointment labels. Now, because I am me and it's my style, I'm going to want my appointment label to match the color of my checklist. So let's start with Tuesday. I believe this is, there's the appointment labels. And Tuesday is black. So one, we need to rotate this back this way, and then get a appointment label that is black. Actually, that's the gray one. I forgot there was gray and black. And we're going to use this one because I just need a small one. Adjust my crop marks. I'm going to kind of clean it up so that this is more of a squared corner instead of a round. I like how those look. That's kind of the look I want. Plus, where I did the alpha, you can see the little wavy edges. So we're going to copy that. Let's see, on Tuesday. Like I said, I know I have one appointment. And then shrink it down. We can copy. 
I know on Wednesday, I have an appointment. So, I need a yellow one. Once I get that where I want, I want to bring that down just a little more so it looks, has a little more of the border. Yeah, that works. I know I have two on Thursday. And then one on Friday. This is part of the reason I'm just part that I am choosing to do the vertical is because I know I have quite a bit going on this week and I want to okay sometimes if the align tools are messing with you move them so they're not aligned with another sticker and then you can kind of move them around I've noticed that helps me there we go and then I can move it in place and use those align tools um, but that is only part of the reason. Part of it is I have already set this planner up. Okay, I'm not quite sure what happened there. Um, maybe my file size for my recording was getting too big, so I've started a new recording. I think the only thing you missed is I went ahead and copied the black box over to Friday because we have an appointment Friday. Let's see, did she include a weekend banner? She did. That is a cute weekend banner. So we're going to get, we, and we've already done the alpha on this, so that should help. Let's move this off the, that's cute. I really do like that weekend banner. Let's copy it and go and put it on the weekend. Most of my stuff going on is during the week. So, there is my weekend banner. Now, I think I've made a mistake, guys. Looking at her headers. I do not see either a plain glitter one that's in black or any plain glitter washi. So we're going to change a couple things on my way out. Another beautiful thing about doing digital is I can do that. So we're going to double tap this. I want the today that is black. Now, I do understand that means I'm going to have to change all of these gold ones. But that's okay. It's not a big deal. Because I'm going to then use the bottom part of this Happy New Year as a washi strip. And that way... I have the colors I'm using, but she doesn't have one that says health or fitness or anything like that. Let me get this lined up where I want it. Okay. So now I'm going to copy, paste, and put all of the today headers. Back in place in the new color because I am indecisive. I should have noticed that ahead of time. I didn't. Again, lovely thing about digital, I get to change my mind, which I do quite a bit. If y'all only knew, my poor husband. So 
I'm going to There it goes. But um starting this new year I am working one of my big goals, I don't really do resolutions, but I do have the goal of working on my health. Um I do need knee surgery. Therefore my physical health hasn't been that good. I haven't been as active as I would like to be. Therefore I have gained weight. I, I had weight issues before that. Shoes you know, just shut down again. Let's see how much it saves. Connected. Open keynotes. And let's see. Holy moly, it didn't save any of that. I do not know why it's doing this. Um, it's connected. So I am not Second device connected. going to change all of that again on the video. I'm going to stop my video here, go back, rechange my header, and then I'll come back to finish. So I will be back in a few minutes, guys. Okay, so I have got my headers fixed again. Sorry about that. I, I'm trying a new headset, and I think I'm having a little bit of technical difficulty. So we're going to go select this. And I want, where is it? I know it is on this page. There it is. I want, what the heck is going on here? There it is. Whew, I'm just trying to get some washi here, people. Having some difficulties. Let's make this smaller and see if that works. Because I do want it pretty much the length of my page. And I'm going to use this as a header instead of the header she included because she doesn't include a fitness hat. Now, we're going to look at the colors. I think I'm going to do one solid color of these. And I think this dark pink up here is the one that matches the best. So, hey, these are clear. Who knew? <laughs> Alright, this is the first time I've used these. So as I was saying, I have decided in the new year that I am going to work on my health. And I do need to have knee surgery. And that is just not something that's possible right now. So I am doing the best with what I have. And I am trying to be a little more active. And one of my Christmas presents I got is a set of bike pedals, basically, that I can just set on the floor in front of any surface I want to set on, couch, chair, and use it. Um, so I'm hoping even with the knee that that will be something I can do and that doesn't cause me much pain. So that is my goal is to increase my activity. And I have started a kind of subgroup of digital planning. Um, it is most of us gals that are doing this. Seriously, simple planners, 
Um, of course, any planner is welcome. But how we're using our digital planning to help obtain some health and fitness goals. So I'm going to copy and paste this because I'm going to try to increase my activity, which I just talked about with those bike pedals, and hopefully in a way that's not causing more damage to my knee. And I'm also going to try to make sure I'm drinking water and kind of watch what I'm eating. Not really dieting, but I've found in the past that if I watch and track what I'm eating, I eat better and I'm more conscious of what I'm eating. So um, that is my goal with these stickers, is to give me a place to put that information. My plan is to use them in conjunction with my fitness pal. Um, sorry, Jeanette. I was going to do the eye track bites and do points, but I find that their database just leaves something lacking for me. Most of the time when I go to search and add a food, it can't find it. Now, if I scan the barcode, pretty good luck. <laughs> Apparently not with peanuts today. <laughs> but with that app, scanning the barcodes, I have pretty good luck. Um just typing it in, I have not had as much luck. So it looks like I get a taste these stickers again. I do not know what's up with keynote people. Um, I've only had it do this to me with one other sticker set, and it started doing it right away. I really don't want to scrap this. I really like this kit. I like the layout I got going. So I'm really going to try to finish up here. Um, that, that's what sucks sometimes with technology is I don't know why it's choosing to shut down like that. So I don't know how to fix it. So I'm just going to do everything I can to get this video finished and up for y'all. Y'all get to see some of my struggles now. Everyone's always saying I make it look so easy. It's not always so easy for me. Sometimes I do have issues. I just don't normally leave those on video. So I'm going to leave this video with me struggling with this so y'all can see. Sometimes... I have issues too. I'm not a perfect planner. You know, it seems to be when I'm resizing my page that it doesn't like that. I'm going to try to do less of that. Let's copy this washi or what I made into a washi strip and get it on my page. Oh, that is big. We don't want it that big. See what happens when I get it the right size. That's about right. So this bottom section is going to be kind of my health and fitness. And since she didn't have a label for that or a header, I'm going to just use the washi. And I think it looks fabulous. So. Bring that down. Okay. So those are the main things I want to add in. Let's see what else she has. I really love this. So I'm going to delete this. I'm going to copy the sticker page, paste it, and I'm going to crop down to this. 12 new chapters, 365 new chances. I really like that sticker. So I want, to, I'm going to use that as kind of my accent like I normally do. 
So let's get my cropping in nice and clean. And then we're going to copy. Go over here, say a little prayer, paste. And I want it to go right here under this January. We're going to get my side, pretty much that's what's left, guys, is my sidebar. So, the sidebar and moving it into GoodNote. Oh, I need to zoom in. Please don't get mad at me. Okay, GoodNote seems okay with that zoom. I want to, I want to fill that space. That looks good. Okay. I want that. Let's see. This is why I've kind of started leaving the, this page, the, this image untouched is so I can go and look. Um, I do have a couple bills due. I should be able to just. Let's see, we have one on Tuesday. I think that's it for this week, which is awesome because she has a pink one. Let me adjust my cropping. And then I am going to want to add the alpha to that one because how she had that curve. So I'm losing my train of thought. Um, how she has the curve down there, the bill do part. Okay. Okay. Since I realized that it seems to be when I zoom in and out that Keynotes is getting that, I'm afraid to zoom. We're actually going to move that down here on the bottom because I think it looks better. Okay, so we were here. Most of my TV shows aren't on right now, so I'm not worried about those. And I think I did everything I need to here. So what's left? I thought it was in that one. It's not. Is it on this one? I know it's on one of them because I saw it. I swear it was this one. It is this one. The habit trackers. So I'm going to... Crop down and get those. I definitely want to use habit trackers this week. It is the new year. I do not have my husband's work schedule. I need to track. So let's finish filling up this sidebar. Oh, see, it's going very pixel. I wonder... If part of the issue may be how much I have layered on here, but I don't know. I don't know what what's up with it. We're actually going to start these right here. There's one. That is not what I wanted to do. Let's undo that. Let's get it back in place. Okay, I want to copy it. Paste it. And then move over to the gray one. With having the alpha, it makes it hard to grab the sticker sometimes. Okay, now let's get it back in place. Oh, 
Okay. And I want to copy and paste the pink one. I'm going to alternate colors here and do probably five, I think, is pretty good. That sounds pretty good to me, I think. And we are about done, ladies and gentlemen. I say gentlemen because I've noticed we have had a few guys joining the planner group lately. Now, I haven't noticed them being very active. So I hope that they're just kind of hanging out, getting a feel for us. But it would be awesome if you are a gentleman in the group who does use our digital planners or any digital planner. It would be awesome to hear from y'all. I assume most of us are girls, but planning is not just for girls. So there could be some guys out there. Okay, we'll call them that good. Okay, so now I've got my layout done. I'm going to press and hold. I hope Keynote does not get mad. Select all and group it. Oh, crap. I have to unlock it first. Select all, unlock. So it's unlocked. And then select all. Oh, hold on. Unlock the background where I locked it. Now select all and group. Now I can touch it and copy it. And if everything worked out right, what is up with the notes? Okay, there. <laughs> Today is not my day for technology, people. I should be able to paste this and then just adjust it to size to fit right on top of this page like one giant sticker. Basically, I took my whole spread and created it as a big sticker that I'm going to layer on top. And then there we go. Now, I can use that same sticker kit that I have in my Google Drive to import elements in throughout the week if I need to. Um, because this video is quite long as it is, I'm not going to go ahead and do all my writing. Um, I will post a picture on my Instagram once I am completely done. So if you would like to see it with my plans written in there. I don't know if y'all care to see my plans, but if y'all do want to see that, that will be up on my Instagram here in a little bit. But this is my spread for this first week of January. I hope everyone is having a wonderful new year. I hope you click that subscribe button so you get to see the rest of my videos I have coming. And I hope to see y'all again next week. Have a great day.